Hi, my name is Casey Pierce. I'm Program Manager with the Taylor County Office of Education Choices Program. And today we are here at our 2023 Anti-Tobacco Marijuana Challenge Bowl. The uh, Anti-Tobacco and Marijuana Bowl is about educating kids about the dangers of tobacco and marijuana use. Our staff have turned it into a competition so that there's some additional motivation for the kids to learn the facts and bringing kids especially to some place where they associate um, recreation and fun like a theater um, adds to that in-person, out-of-the-classroom uh, importance of this type of activity in education. So the goal is to really raise awareness for the health risks that are involved with tobacco and vaping and marijuana use and really educate the students on the whole experience and the harms that go into it. Just what I've learned, like, oh my God, like I didn't know it has such a big impact on you. I didn't realize that people at young ages start doing it and just the big impact it has like on your blood cells and those type of things that I've learned, it's just crazy. I mostly was drawn to like how it affects pregnant women because I didn't know it could take that much of a toll on like people, but I didn't know it could affect a baby that much. We also incorporated the Soapbox event this year, and so that's really just to give students their voice and to understand that they have a say in what goes on and bills that are passed and social media and that sort of thing. Today is more focused on tobacco. But in the grand scheme of things, the way that this project is supposed to go is they pick a topic that they like and they want to tell the world about, and we give them the platform to do so. We make it a cool environment for them. Cigarette butts take years to break down. Did you know that about each day 1,600 youth try their first cigarette? <laughs> Why did you do that? Did you know that smoking is the leading cause of preventable deaths in the U.S.? I just feel it's another kind of another way just to drive home the information that they've spent months preparing for and just being able to display that in, in a different way. I can help my friends by showing them what like tobacco does to your body and your health. We all take home um, information about about how it's bad for you and how it affects your body so we can go um, tell our fellow peers about it so they don't have to go and use tobacco and then infect them. Like I'm able to bring so much back to our campus, sometimes it's amazing. Even if you thought they're like competition, you even learn stuff from them from the questions that they answered. It was overall just a really good time. I think what's important is because in this day and age, especially with social media, it the tobacco use and the vaping and the marijuana, it just is getting younger and younger. So the more we can educate our youth in, like I said, the harmful effects, I think the better it's gonna be for our future. I think, especially with events like this, that it's important for students to see that there's other like-minded kids that are their age from other communities that, you know, have that anti-tobacco uh, mindset. These are the kind of days that we, we live for, honestly, in our offices. So I, I personally just get a lot of fulfillment out of seeing the joy that events like this bring to our students' faces. <laughs>